Okay, students, um, this is uh, October the 8th, uh, 2020, and we're going to try and make a couple of tables here. And so what I've done is I've just opened up an empty HTML document, um, which I've given a name and made sure I saved it as HTML in Visual Studio Code. So uh, none of that uh, is new to you. You know how to do that. So just going to put in some head tags because we're going to have some styling. Uh, we're going to start with a title, of course. Uh, this is uh, tables practice or something like that. No doubt you can all type faster than I do and more accurately, but yeah. Tables practice, and uh, we need to have some style tags um, because um, we're going to style it up. Uh, the table, in order to get the table to look uh, with the right fonts and stuff, we'll need to style it up. Now, I think actually these tables haven't been styled up very much. But uh, we're going to style ours up. All right, so we've got a head and we've got some style. We'll do some style a bit later. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to put a body in our um, in our uh, HTML document, uh, and the body is going to have a couple of tables in it. I think do we have? Uh, should we say? Uh, yeah, maybe we could have a heading at the start, um, which just says you know that hey you know we've got a um, uh, uh, tables exercise or something like that. And then we're going to have a couple of tables. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll make one table and I'll copy because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of slow in typing. So I'll do that. So we're going to open a table tag and the table. Uh, what I notice about both these tables is because we're going to use them the same. Uh, both these tables are um, they're both using call span. Uh, so that's how we get this one line at the top there. Um, we could use a caption and another separate table, but this will this will work. Uh, they're, they're using call span, and the other thing that they're using is um, uh, they're, they're pretty normal text. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's go. The, the, the headings are at the top. That's the thing I wanted to say because you can put headings uh, down the side, which is a different way, which means that you have to put the heading on each line um, or row of the table. Um, but uh, our our uh, table headings are at the top, so that's good. So so that means that we're going to start each table with um, now every row of the table has to be inside row, table row tags. Um, but then, if you're going to have headings inside there, you can put them inside ta table um, uh, table um, heading tags. So I'm going to just use that as a generic to get this started. Uh, then then our other rows are going to be um, a little different, yeah. So they they're just going to be have a lot of table details in them. Uh, so I'm just going to put one in because we can copy and paste them. I'm trying to make this as simple as possible so I can do as little typing as possible. So there's our first table, uh, and there's nothing to it really. I'm going to copy that. First, uh, not. Be careful. Control C and Control. Um, the and then in between them, I'll put uh, another heading. Um, so uh, another another H1 heading, and in that heading, I'll say um, table two. Uh, you don't want to go too far in your um, in your work without checking it. So I'm going to save this and uh, the file, I've actually been saving it to this folder here. And so I'm just going to check it. Double click on it. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Sorry about that. Uh, thought I'm slow. I'm not as slow as my computer. Come on, there we go. Wow. <laughs> Time for a Red Bull while I'm waiting. So there we go. The only things that are showing are the um, two uh, headings. Uh, but at the top, you can see my title is working. So yeah, it's kind of the way we like our, our thing to be. So maybe I do I want to move that somewhere? Um, the thing is, I'm running out of room here, right, for things. Uh, yeah, let's just leave it there. You want to uh, and get back into coding. Uh, so at the top, the uh, table header for the first one 
has the words um, fresh fruit in it. And it has a table row which says uh, it's got two things in it. It's got two lots of table details. So I'm going to copy the table details and paste it. Because we got two, I, probably you can type this faster than I'm doing my copy and paste, right? But uh, I mean, this is this works. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those words in as being known that a diet that includes at least a few servings of fresh fruit every day will help keep you healthy. Yeah, generally speaking, food that has as little processing as possible is more healthy. And so now you can't read that all in there because it sort of was long and went around the side. I can um, I can uh, and I can put these. You see what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, I'm just bringing the text down so that you can read it all, so I can see all the tags. But this doesn't affect the text the way it looks at all. So actually, so what have I got? Yes. So the because the DT tag is is actually on another line, but it doesn't really matter there. So. What we've got there is um, that one's in there, and the thing is that I've got this other DT tag. Maybe I'll bring that down onto another line so it's more clear. But I mean, it doesn't matter a bit. And in here, we have to have an image. Oh, image. Uh, so I have to have an image uh, to get that. But let's save it, see what we've got. Um, so we've got our fresh fruit. Oh, yeah, that's kind of boring, isn't it? But that is a table. So maybe we'll actually do something with the table, make it look like a table at the moment, because it doesn't, right? I mean, it's just there. So what we can do is we can do some styling uh, straight up. We can say, all right, for the table, and also for the table, table rows. Uh, let's put a comma between them. For the table rows and the table headings, uh, let's, um, let's collapse all the borders, right? Border, collapse. There's somewhere there is border collapse, and we're going to collapse the border. Oh, but maybe we should uh, should actually make a border first, right? And so what we're going to do is we're going to put a border on it, and the border is going to be um, so we can say black um, px one uh, px. I don't know, and um, save that. So that's giving us a border. Actually, every table in this document now will be like that. Oh, it's not showing. Uh, that one PX, maybe I need to put commas between those. Let's see, didn't think so. Yeah, probably. Not showing. Um, bear with me for a sec here. 